What is up guys? I have a brand new review for you and it is on the Spring Bonnie Funko Plush. Now I know the first question you're going to be asking is why do I have two? Well for one I'm going to show you the differences that varies between different plushies and I'm going to be doing a giveaway. It will be posted after this video so stay tuned. So um you see here's what varies between the plushies. Sometimes the snout is a bit more up. Actually this snout looks like differently so than this one completely. But the eyes vary too, but you can simply just squish the face to change it. And uh, nothing really with the body. The ears kind of stay the same. And uh, basically that's the changes between different plushies. Kind of like almost every Five Nights at Freddy's plushies. But um, yeah, now let's get into the actual review. I am going to be using this plushie for the review. So let's get right into that. Sorry, uh, let's actually take a look at the tag first. So the tag is the Wave 1 tag with Hot Topic exclusive. This is a Hot Topic exclusive. But, um... Yeah, so, really nothing special with the tag, same stuff. Again, the difference from the Wave 1 tag is it says 0 up instead of 14 up, like the Wave 1 plushies. But again, here's the price tag, $20, I'll get into that later. But, yeah, that's the tag. Now, this Spring Bonnie is absolutely fantastic. It is. It actually reminds me of Wave 1, very soft fabric, uh, you know, there was no printing. The bow ties are very nice. The only difference I see with this is that the bow tie is kind of cheaply made and the buttons are printed and the eyelashes. Now, the thing that, I, the, the, like, why, why I'm nitpicking about the printing is because this plush is $20. This plush was $12 and it's better quality than this plushie. Now, this is the only problem I have with this plushie. The price is insane. I had a $5 coupon that I used to get both of these. That would equal $42 that I got for the for both of them. So one plushie is like $19, $20. It's, it's kind of insane, but um, I don't know. I, I feel like just Funko is just upping the price for no reason, and they're not even using the price for good. Yeah, there's good fabric and stuff, but come on, the bow tie, like wave one has better bow ties. Look at this. It's actual, like, sewn together pieces instead of just a flat piece of fabric. And the buttons, if I can find Toy Freddy quickly. Here's Toy Freddy, again, another Wave 1 plushie, and look at the buttons. They're embroidered. They're sewed in. Same with the bow tie. It's depth. It has depth. And this one is just flat fabric printed on buttons. I just feel like they could do way better. And, like, see your plushie, like, Funtime Foxy or Toy Foxy, whatever you want to call it, her eyelashes are sewed in. Like, they could do that with this plushie. They just choose not to. Here, same with Toy Chica. Look at her eyelashes. They're sewed on. I feel like they could have just done the same thing with Spring Bonnie. Either way, the printing doesn't look that bad. I just, you know, $20, I'd expect better quality. But enough of the nitpicking. Let's get into the actual plushie. Now, this plush is obviously based off of FNAF World Spring Bonnie. They can't use fan art because fan art is, you know, fan art. They have to use the real stuff. So here's Spring Bonnie, as you can see from FNAF World. It's very obviously inspired. As you can see, the buttons, the eyelashes, the eyes, everything is just obviously inspired. Now, I don't know if Spring Bonnie has a tail, but uh, this one doesn't. I don't know if that's accurate or not again. But uh, I, I kind of would wish they added a tail. Like FNAF 1 Bonnie, they didn't know they had a, that FNAF 1 Bonnie had a tail, but they added it anyway. So I feel if they added a tail, that would have been kind of cute. But <laughs> I can't really complain because it's not known yet. But um, yeah, very, very, very accurate to the in-game reference. And I, I like that a lot. Uh, Bonnie teeth would be nice, though. Like, uh, I don't want another toy Bonnie incident. Oh, no. But uh, <laughs> bunny teeth, like, just kind of, like, sewed on here would be cool. But uh, I don't know if that would look better. I think this is fine. This is very fine. So yeah, guys, that's basically all I could say on this Spring Bonnie plush. Stay tuned for the Spring Bonnie plush giveaway. I will post that tomorrow. I know I said I was going to post it soon after, but thinking about it again, you need time to view this video, and I don't want to overflow you with Spring Bonnie videos, so tomorrow will be the giveaway video. So subscribe and turn notifications on, and you'll be notified for that. So um, yeah, thank you for watching. Would I recommend this plush? You know, for casual buy, no. It's $20. Yeah, it's soft and stuff, but only for diehard FNAF fans, I think you should get it. Because Spring Bonnie is not, like, a really widely known character for general FNAF fans. But if you're a diehard FNAF fan, I do recommend getting this. But for the price, eh, maybe Christmas. But, yeah, guys, thank you for watching, and bye. Bye.